Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In this video, we are going to talk about how to install and set up Cypress in your WordPress plugin for end-to-end -end testing. So many of you might already be aware about the Cypress and you can actually go to cypress.io and see what all it does and uh, you can get more doc documentation about that. So basically this provides you with the complete end-to-end -end testing experience and uh, this is pretty useful uh, if you want to test your UI, the front-end part of it because uh, of course you can test your PHP functions, uh, you can test your JavaScript functions but uh, on many of our websites some of the important functionalities are essential for testing such as if you have let's say an e-commerce website then you want to ensure that the entire checkout flow is working correctly because that's going to impact your because if it's not then it's going to impact your conversion okay so this is pretty useful and we're going to see in a moment uh, how to go ahead and use that and uh, it basically you'll be able to see that uh, it's going to automatically navigate to certain screens uh, for example, what we're going to build once we set up the Cypress, we are going to write the test that is going to automatically uh, check the login functionality, which means it will take you to the user login page, automatically fill in the login form and take you to the dashboard. OK, so you'll see that in a moment. So let's start. Uh, I've also written a blog about this, so you can go and check out on the codetech.com set up and run Cypress test. I'll uh, leave the link in the description. So without further ado, let's begin. The first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go inside of my plugin. So I already have my plugin installed. So you can see that I have my plugin Aquila features inside the WB content plugin directory. So I will go inside of that particular uh, directory and, and I'm going to run the command which is npm install cypress save dev the reason why we are doing the save dev is because this is for testing purposes and development purposes this is not required in production so let's hit that okay so this has been installed so this will install cypress in your node module so if you go to your node module you'll be able to see that the cypress has already been installed here it is you can see the cypress is installed great and um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our package.json and add this script. So instead of your dot bin, you have Cypress over here. So you need to give this path to be able to run, to be able to open Cypress. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go to the package.json and then over here where we have the script, we will add one more and that will be Cypress colon open. You can name it whatever you want and then give this path up until uh, that particular file that I just showed you in the node, mo node module and then the command is open. So it's going to run this command. Just uh, are we going to create this particular script that's going to uh, run this command every time. Okay. So the next thing we do is we run that command. So we'll say npm run cypress open and we hit it. You can see that it's running that. And this is going to open Cypress in a browser, separate browser. Now you have two options. One is end-to-end -end testing and you have component testing. Uh, this is under beta. So, so this is your complete end-to-end -end testing. This is component-wise testing. So let's go with the E2E testing. We click on that. And then it says that we have added the following files to your project. So the moment you click on that, it's going to add a couple of files there. It's going to add the cypress config.js where you'll keep all of your configurations it'll also add the support e2e js file okay it'll add command js and all of these files basically fixtures and stuff so it'll add the cypress folder for you so let's check that if i check over here there you go you can see that it just added the cypress config.js which we will uh, do the configuration in a moment and it's also added the cypress folder where we have the fixtures uh, supports and all that, all of those stuff. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we'll hit this icon. You can see that you have the icon Cypress uh, CY and uh, we'll just hit continue. Okay. Then it's asking you which browser you want to choose for testing. You can e either choose Electron, Firefox or Chrome. Let's go with the Chrome. Let's click on that one. 
there you go so you can see that it's uh, automatically open to a specific URL of course you can change this URL and I'll show you how to change that and um, it's going to give you some of the example ones you can also create a new spec uh, which means for, for testing uh, so let's go ahead and click on scaffold example specs and it says that you've added the following to your project so it's added some of the examples uh, test for you so you can take a reference from this and build your own so I'm gonna say okay I got it and then if you go back and check you can see that it just added some of the folders like downloads E2E so this is where you will keep your tests under E2E end-to-end -end. okay uh, and it's added some of the tests if you click on that you can see it's added this test it's added these tests also you can go through them and see what they do you can also see that in the browser these are the tests if you want you can run any specific test also so if I want to run this one I can just click on this one and you can see that it's testing right and whatever test had been written inside the um, to do cy.js these are the tests basically before each it does something all of those tests have been run you can also individually click on them and see what's going on you can hover over them and uh, you know you can see what's going on so uh, let's go ahead and build our own but before that we'll do some settings so let's close these guys uh, i'm going to just keep one thing open which is cypress.config.js so we'll go to this we'll go to the step four and we'll add the configuration so there are a few things we need to add first is the base url because my WordPress is actually installed locally on localhost colon uh, four times eight. Uh, your site may be installed somewhere else, but wherever it is, you can just put that URL. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So I'll hit enter, place that base URL. Let's say base URL. Okay. And put that URL there. So this will be your root URL for the site. So right now I'm testing locally. That's why I'm putting the local um, URL uh, currently for testing. Okay. So now you see that it's already changed the URL. So earlier URL was some default URL that it was using to serve it, but now it changed that URL to this one. Why? Because we added the base URL configuration into the config file, right? So it changed that. So this is where it's going to run all of the tests, which is great. Next thing is that we put the environment. Uh, so if, we, if there are any specific custom variable that we want to add that we want to use as an environment variable, uh, we can go ahead and put that inside of env and then access that into our test files. So we're going to say wp user, wp password. Just be careful, don't push this information on GitHub. I'm just putting root to it because just for testing purposes and in my site is local, so it doesn't harm anything. But yeah, uh, this is just an example. So just be careful about adding your sensitive information there. Uh, so wp user, wp password, so username and password, and I can access that inside of my test file. Okay. All right. So now that the Cypress has been set up locally, in the next video, we are going to start writing our own test, which will help us test the login functionality of WordPress. So if you did like the video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. If you aren't already, please do start my repository to support my work. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And do follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.